I'm Angela V. Shelton. And our very best friend, Frances Callier, and we are Frangela. And welcome to another exciting, riveting episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. You send us the stupid. We talk shit about them. Yes, we do. And we thank you so much for your submissions at Facebook and at Twitter at Frangela Duo, or you send them directly to us at Frangela.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is us. I hope you guys know by now that you were speaking to us when you write. It is us. We don't have a staff. I mean, not for this. I wish we had a staff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> First up for today, thank you to the recently promoted. I'm not sure if we got a chance to say it yet. Congratulations, Corporal Susan H. Yes. Nice work. Yes. I don't, okay. Man arrested for the fourth time for doing what in public? Having sex with a teddy bear. Okay. Which I learned recently is called a plushophile. Plushophile. Yes. I think you know what I think that is. What? I think that's a nice way of saying. Fucking a teddy bear. Yeah, I was going to say teddy bear. That's a euphemism. Yes, for a teddy bear fucker. This is the, this is a picture of the teddy Does bear. Does he kind of look like a teddy bear? I think he looks like a teddy bear. Yes. Because his eyes are kind of like, mm, it's like a teddy bear. All right, so fourth time, fourth time. <laughs> fourth, Cincinnati, you got to keep time. that in your mind. Fourth time, because one time he wouldn't be in here. Right. We'd be like, oh, that's, that's stupid. Sad. Second time, depending on the week. Yeah. You know, four times. Now, four times. Number one. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah, Chris Marshall, he is 28 years old. That's a young man, Angela. It's a Not young teddy man. bear years. <laughs> Not a teddy bear years. Let me tell you the teddy bear community. Yes. They are all about the youth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And he looks angry like, like. I see sad. I see what I see. I see. Where's my teddy bear? <laughs> and what a fuck. Tears. Tears. Maybe okay. it's love. What I want to know is, was it the same teddy bear every time? Uh, you know, what, 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 what do you hope? I hope it was. You think it's so romantic about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Merchant Ivory film. You okay, know you mean? know what? Because it's, you know what? It's not as uh, dirty or tawdry. Yeah, he's just fucking. I mean, a ready teddy bear he runs into. into. Yeah, you know, like a bar. Yeah, like a sailor, like a merchant marine yes. with no morals, taking them and using them and throwing, throwing them, them away. away. <laughs> What's so fucked up is leaving a path of destruction of like, teddy bears crying all over the road. It's just wrong. I need to know that he has no family or friends because the first <laughs> time we'd be like, Dude, you're such a freak. Oh my God, I would be clowning. If this was my brother, cousin, I'd be like, uncle. Y'all want to see what a freak looks like? Chris, come on out. <laughs> don't bring that teddy bear with you. <laughs> knock, knock. I don't want to interrupt. Are you and Grizzly okay? <laughs> you and Boo Boo? How you doing? Yogi. Yogi, you and Yogi, I'm having some adult time. I love that you use Boo Boo because he is the smaller man. <laughs> well, he's definitely a top. Yes. I think he's a top. You think he's a top? He is a top. <laughs> oh my God, four, clown on you. Four. And, and Thanksgiving be like, hey, Annie, can you pass me <laughs> some, some teddy bear ass? Some teddy bears. The green beans, because I'm going to pass them over the teddy bears. You know, bear I'm going to tell you something. I'll tell you something. Every Christmas, all he get with teddy I get him. No, don't get him teddy bears. I get him, like, uh, pet, like stuffed giraffes. Oh, and just, so just the raw and have him be like, I can't fuck it. Tor- tor- turtle. Do you think? Do you think he asks his family for teddy bears? Be like, I love teddy bears. Do you think he collects teddy bears? Do you think his room is filled with teddy well, bears? Well, that's what I want to know. If we had the resources to send somebody to find Chris Marshall and just somehow get in his house legally and take pictures, because I have a feeling. Oh my god. Or like when he's walking down the street and he sees a teddy bear, is it like does he just get excited? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or is it a particular shade or kind of teddy bear? See, if we brand? had the, the TV show, I would. I would go to we the prison. We would investigate this. I would go to the prison. Oh, let me, Chris let's Marshall. be clear about this. We would do the work. Yes. There are you know what, newsroom, there are other reporters. Yes. Right here. Right here. You would know all of this. Cause I know you wanna know. I wanna know. <laughs> Plus I wanna look at his face and be like, you know you looking <laughs> crazy, right, Chris? <laughs> Chris, 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 you're going to have to just jack off. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Chris, meet your right hand, okay? You And this is the thing. Why has it got to be in public? It's already, That's it's, the other thing. It's, oh, it's already freaky enough. Why do you have to be also, what is it? When you're not a boy or the other. It's uh, uh, exhibitionist. Exhi- why do you have to be exhibitionist? Who, yes. Uh, exhibitionist plush, what's it called? Plush a fire. <laughs> I.e. teddy bear fucker. Oh my God. That's a whole oh bunch of issues. That, and, and, you know, he's young. And you know, I'm not, I don't know. You know, it's like. Somebody would love this. I mean, that, that didn't have stuffing. <laughs> and you know what? And I wonder if he, like, would make a woman, like, 
put on a teddy bear costume. Okay, okay, okay. And put Let's a say you in really it. love the guy. Like, would really, you, would desperately. You, this is like you, the man you, of your oh dreams, God. man of your dreams. Everything's great. You've been together for a while. You're okay. so in love. You're Everything. like best friends. Everything. You finish each other's sentences. And, and he came to me and said, and said, hey, here's the deal. There's something I haven't told you that I really enjoy sexually. Oh my God! Now, and because it's not, I don't think it's a big deal, but would you be willing to dress up as a teddy bear? No! <laughs> I would be mad because I'd be like, I've really been trying to lose weight, and I feel like this is a step backwards. I did my hair. Uh, <laughs> I've promised my feet. I'm not putting on a costume. Oh my god, we've spent five minutes. On our story. Okay, all right, all right. Next up, this is private Ruby's kid. Thank you. This is so fucked up. It makes me so mad. Uh, okay. I, I don't know if we put down where this happened, but anyway, groom, groom cheats on his bride. Where, when? Yes, at, at the, the wedding reception. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a drunken 27-year-old groom caught having sex with a waitress at his own wedding reception. Uh, <laughs> the bride's father caught him in the act and immediately sent all the guests home. Oh, it's in Austria. Austria. Yes, yes, yes. And then this is the problem. The bride who filed for a divorce... Who like, a divorce I think now, right then. <laughs> like, Austrian law decrees that she has to wait at least six months. Even when he fucked somebody before you left the room? You couldn't make it through the reception. No, you could not. I mean, you couldn't make it through the... I mean, I don't even know if you were going to get a honeymoon, but you couldn't... I'm talking about how many hours could there have been between the wedding and the reception? You know what? I'm going to give you time because I took my pictures beforehand. Yeah, maybe they were together all day. Maybe they were all together. <laughs> all day. <laughs> and, and you know what? Maybe she said some shit that he, he, he just couldn't get off of. This is my thing. You're at the wedding. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't spent seven straight hours together yet, you shouldn't be getting married probably. Well, you know what? But maybe... And what's up with this waitress? You, I know. How do you know Fuck the groom. I don't know. I don't know. How, can, how are you going to not know it's the groom? You know what? I will almost, you could almost tell, give me, feel like, okay, maybe she didn't know. Maybe she just thought he was part of the wedding party. But you should know. I think you know. Who it is. Well, that chair is open if he's fucking you. <laughs> the one next to the bitch in the dress. That is so not sister. Oh, that is so not sisterhood. And it's really stupid. There's, everybody's wandering around. Look, this is the thing. You're the groom. They're going to be looking for you all night, you I dumb know. fuck. Where's the groom? Where's the bride? Ding, 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 ding. All dance. night. All night. You get oh. no privacy that day. You know, some people aren't ready to get married. I wouldn't say that. Some yeah, I think so. I think I don't think he's ready to, to be out of his house. No, no. I mean. You should not supposed to be fucking at reception halls anyway, but there is food there. That's unsanitary. <laughs> Next up, it's from Admiral Robert M. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Oh, Connecticut. Yes. Connecticut has been coming hard it in the has. last few months. You know what? I told you, I think I think people from Florida are moving up the coast. I don't know what's going on, but you're absolutely right. Connecticut's been showing up. Uh, parents share YouTube video of a five-year-old swimming with sharks. I'm, I'm upset. Um, Angela called me on the phone. At this is the home. problem. You can see the video. It's very long. It's like yeah. six minutes. But what you will see is a man, lots of sharks in this water, and he's kind of in shallow water, and he's got a table, and he's cutting up fish, and he's chum, he's feeding the sharks. And then you'll hear the video, the video's being um, shot by the, I think by the mom. Mm -hmm. And so you hear her talking to the five-year-old, and she's like, no, daddy can't get in yet until they feed the sharks, because we have to make sure the sharks are all full before we swim with them. Now, see, half of that sentence is, oh, we, you know, you want the sharks, he's feeding the sharks, but before we swim in them, and then sure enough, you will yeah. see a, the five-year-old with her little scuba thing, paddling mm -hmm. like this, while doo-doo-doo-doo, all around. You know what? I, I don't want any harm to come to this child, but you know what? Oh, but you know who I think does? Yeah. Her parents. Her parents. <laughs> like, well, you know what? This is, I mean, if I could have had the sharks eat them. Though that would be scarring for her, too. But less scarring than the next family trip they go on, which I have a feeling is called free falling out of a plane. Oh, my God. This is my problem. And this is the thing. When, you, when I went to the video, mm -hmm. I, you know, normally I don't read comments because they're, they're just, you know, they right. get on my nerves. The first comments down were other people with their videos of doing the same thing. And I feel like if these groups, we need to let these people go to their yeah. own island yes. where they can be stupid. Because what I am not going to do is send anybody else no. in harm's way to rescue you or your child. Mm -mm. Y'all ain't getting nothing. Nothing. Seriously? Seriously? We've never known, because you know what? We've never known a shark to eat somebody after it had a meal. No. Have you not heard of dessert? Or an amuse bouche? A five-year-old is a delightful amuse bouche I mean, for a shark. Tasty. She's tasty. It's ridiculous. And this is the 
Yeah, people like, you know, and literally they told uh, on Good Morning America, the dad said that everyday life poses risk assessments. Yes, yeah, but, th but that's why we don't do things like throw our child off a mountain yeah. or put them in the, because this thing, the risk is very, for the five-year-old in the house, right. at the playground, guess what's never a risk to them? Sharks. <laughs> Until you gather the sharks together. This is even like a random shark that came up to a beach, right? I know. You, they went there to purposely to throw their child on with sharks. Yes, it's like, you know what? We put people in jail for leaving their children at home alone. That's right. Where they would or not- in the car. Where they would not get eaten by a shark. No. But these people walk around free with their child. Yep. I'm they just saying. They get to have a kid. I'm just saying. Well, we won't, we, and we don't let, and then we get that problem. This is my problem. Then we turn to people and say, tell gay people that they shouldn't have kids. I mean, really? Really? And these are like, you, these, I think these, these are very, like, I think they're educated. They're just nothing, you know what I mean? They're not crazy. They don't have histories of arrests or whatever. It's, it's, I, I it's just, just pure stupid. It's, I just don't understand. And then she's, the mom said, at no point did I feel like this was dangerous. Yeah, that's exactly the problem. Right. <laughs> that you don't think sharks are dangerous. Yeah. I have a feeling we might be seeing you later in the week. I'm Angela V. Shelton. And I'm my very best friend, Francis Callier. Week, 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 week. It's. Dude. I don't understand. There's so many people they will not let. Like, me as a single woman trying to adopt a kid, very hard, next to impossible. But these motherfuckers, throw, use them as shark bait. <laughs> Just, and she a cute little girl, too. I'm not saying if she wasn't cute, it would be okay. Yes, we are. A little bit.